Hello, this is Ibrahim. In this video, I'm going to talk about defining your own custom template filters for Jinji 2. So basically, the filters are something you would want to use if you want to change the variable you have in Jinji 2 and the template. So if you want to change it with something else, then you would want to use a custom filter or a template filter. So let's see how that actually works. Now in here I have a sample application, Flask application. I have defined app.py, which basically has an endpoint for index. And this one basically to run it using the port um, 5555 and enable debugging as well. In the templates folder, I have index.html. And in index.html is a sample HTML page with sample text here. As you can see, I didn't pass any variable to Jinja2 to the template here. so. I have no business defining any variable here. So let's run this and see the output and see if this actually works. So now this is this is the uh, the local host with the port that we have defined. Let's just refresh the page, and this is a sample page. There we are. So so far so good. Now say for example I want to pass in a variable. Let's call this variable name and give it a name. Say eb ninja. Yeah. And let's rerun this. Now, before we rerun this, we want to display this in the uh, in the page here. So let's put this in an uh, in an, in a headings tag h1, and let's call this uh, maybe yeah dear. And then I want to use the variable name that we have defined uh, in the endpoint, which is this one. So I want to dis I want to use the name here, which whichever whichever variable that I've passed through here, I want to display it in here. So in this case, I'm just going to use name, and these are these are Jinja Jinja two way of displaying a variable in a page. We've seen this in the previous videos, so I think you know understand what this actually is. So let me rerun this again and see how it actually looks like. So there we are, dear Eb Ninja. So if I change this one again to something else, this has to be, this is something, this is a variable, so I can modify this however I want. So let's call this Ibrahim. And refresh the page, and we can see that things change here. Now, what if, instead of me, I want to make sure that dear, if, let's put this capital, capital letters, and I want to make sure that the name here actually in the title form. In, in what do I mean by this is the first letter is always capital letter and the rest is small letters. In Jinja 2 it's already predefined. So in this case I want to modify the variable that I get through from the endpoint that I get in the template here. I want to play with the variable here. I want to modify the variable that's in here. The way we do this is using the filters. Now we have two options. We either use the built-in filters and I'll post the list of filters in the description and another way we can define our own custom filters there are several filters that we can that we can use for this case which is basically changing the first character to an uppercase character is called title so we just add this we add a pipe symbol like this and then we uh put in the filter name in this case the filter name is temp title and again as i said this will change the first character to an uppercase um so an uppercase letter, I've restarted this, and in here we have a small letter, it should be capital letter, there we are. So what if I change this, I played around, say I added a capital letter here, and then here, you know, and this should also work because it should change the others, the other characters to small letter. And there you can see that things actually changed. As you can see, I've refreshed the page and things actually changed. Now this is something interesting and there are several other very 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 useful filters that you could use. Say for example I've passed in an HTML um, uh, script in here and let's call it maybe Ibrahim like so. And then if we refresh the page and let's see what will happen. And you can see that the tags are actually here. So if you want to strip this off the uh, HTML tags there is another filter that we could use instead of title we could use strip tags like so there we are if we refresh the page and there we are so things got stripped off and you can see if I may minimize this the tags are actually in here 
and what if I still want to dis to remove the HTML tags and still want to display this in a title form, meaning I want to still display this with a cap the first letter being in an uppercase character, an upper uppercase letter. So in this case, I can simply add another pipe uh, symbol and add title like so. So I can chain filters like so. So the result of this will be passed to title. And title will actually output what we really need. So let's restart this again. And let me refresh the page one more time. And there we are. Again, see it's in an in an HTML format, and we simply use the two filters, chain the two filters together to get the output that we needed. As you can see, this is the value of the filters. And there, of course, there are several other very, very, very useful list of filters. And uh, this is basically, this is the list of uh, built-in filters that you could use. Uh, there are several ones of them. Uh, you can scroll through them. I'll put them in the description. Uh, what if, what if I want to define my own custom filter? Let's say I have a filter that does not exist in the list of filters that are predefined in with GG2 or Flask. And then what we could do, we could simply register our own custom filter. The way we do that is very very simple. So we're going to tell Flask to use app, which is basically what we have defined here, the Flask app here. This is the name of it. And then we're going to tell it template underscore filter, like so, and it takes the name of the template filter that you want to use. In this case, let's say for example, I'm passing here, let's say I'm passing, um, uh, let's say I'm passing Ibrahim. And my custom uh, filter will uh, will add a number to this, or will add it. Uh, let's add a number to the text, or maybe change the text a bit, or maybe add another string to it. Say, for example, I want to display uh, Ibrahim tutorial. Yeah. So the way we do this, or you know what? Um, instead of me displaying dear here, dear Ibrahim, and let me remove these built-in templates, uh, sorry, built-in filters. Now, I'm passing Ibrahim. What I want to do with the custom template filter is return the word dear and Ibrahim. So I'm going to add the word dear in front of the variable that I pass in here. So in this custom template, so I'm going to add, to name it add dear, like so. And so the, basically this is the to the custom template filters name and then what it does let's define it now so we're going to define it as add filter uh, sorry add dear the same name as the as the filter name so that we do not confuse ourselves and what does it take is that it takes the name which is basically what we're going to pass so name is what we will be using here so we're passing name to the custom template here sorry to the custom template filter and then we will do our magic so in here I'm going to return dear put format and then I'm going to pass in name so this should output dear Ibrahim Ibrahim should be a variable whichever I pass through here so now the way we're going to use our custom template filter that we've defined here which is add dear the way we're going to use it is similar to the way we've used it. We've used the other filters, the pipe symbol, and then the name of the custom filter. And then simply, that's all you need. So let's restart this. Uh, sorry, this is the custom uh, list of filters. I need this page. So I'm going to refresh it here. And there we are. So dear Ibrahim. So what we could do is that we could also try it with another say for example um, Mac dear Mac and we could refresh the page like so dear Mac and you can see you can do whatever you want to do you could even add more details instead of dear you could define mister and then you can see the results just like that and so basically this is it this is all you need this is all you need if you want to define your own custom template filter it's very simple it's very straightforward i hope that was clear and thank you for following and have a good day